This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock. Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and I am here to talk to you about Sir Conrad the Grim. Now, this is normally the part where I would go on a rant about all the ways that this is a terrible card, and you should never play it. Except, I broke the format. This card is now the greatest card ever, and you should all play this deck. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm being a little over the top. That's on purpose. I'm trying to have some fun with this. Uh, I did build a deck that's very fun to play, and I do want to show it. It was one of the things that... What got me started down this road was somebody requiring a Demir self-mill deck with Sir Conrad in the deck building stream that I did yesterday. And the deck I built for it was an enchantment based constellation deck. Why did I just get an alert? That's not supposed to happen. Stop that. <laughs> we press on. Anyway, um, so the Sir, the Sir Conrad deck that I made was a Constellation Self Mill deck that definitely didn't go the way that I wanted it to, but it did get me thinking because one of the cards I tried out was a lot of Surveil cards with Enhanced Surveillance, and I was using Ashiok to mill myself all in one shot and exile the graveyard, making Sir Conrad trigger like a million times. But then I checked out Enhanced Surveillance, which says that when you exile it, you shuffle your graveyard into your library. Now, when you do that, it triggers Sir Conrad. All the creatures in your graveyard getting shuffled back into your library counts as a change of zones. So it creates a whole bunch of Sire Conrad the Grim triggers. So if you can get enough of those, that's lethal. If you use Doom Whisperer and a bunch of other Surveil cards to fill your graveyard along with Thassa to make them Surveil multiple times, you can dump your deck into your graveyard put out a Sir Conrad, or turn a Lazav the Multifarious into a Sir Conrad, then reshuffle with Enhanced Surveillance and do a ton of damage. Because Lazav keeps his name, you can have a Lazav, a Lazav and a regular Sir Conrad on the battlefield at the same time to double the amount of triggers from this. The rest of the deck is built around Surveil, with cards like Whisper Agent and Nightville Sprite. We also have Thoughtbound Phantasm, which grows when you Surveil to create a threat the opponent has to deal with to open up a space for you to do your combo. And then this information campaign can attack their hand and give you something to do when you're having trouble drawing into your combo. Is this deck actually good? I'm probably going to make jokes along the lines of, oh my gosh, I broke the meta, this is insane. That is all me just talking because I have to talk about something when I make these videos. That's all a little bit of slash sarcasm because no, the deck's not very good and we're not going to play it in ranked. And I don't recommend you do either, but I am going to play this in unranked and I'm gonna warn you straight up. So far my experience has been, when you play this in unranked, the deck algorithm, whatever it is that ma makes matches for you, grades this deck full of mythics, by the way, mythic, mythic, mythic. Uh, grades this deck as so weak, you end up playing against beginner players. So I've been a little frustrated as I've pretty much spammed beginner players with this deck. But if that's the only matches I can get to make the video, that's the way it's going to have to be. Because I'm not doing it in ranked. I'm not going to get Ember Cleaved like 10 times in a row trying to make this video. I will actually go nuts. Like actual nuts. Also, I'm fresh off the preview stream for Ikoria that just happened earlier today. A lot of you came out to it. We had about 300 people hanging out, seeing the new cards, the trailer for the new cards. So I've got a lot of the new cards on the brain. So my voice might already sound a little tired and I'm hyped, but I, I got up earlier than I usually do. I already streamed for like two and a half, three hours. So it's a pretty weird day for me already. So I figured let's unwind with some jank. And I think you guys might like this. So let's dive in, let this nonsense begin. Twitch stream Monday through Thursday, four to six Eastern Standard Time. Thursday, deck doctor stream. You guys bring deck lists. If they get chosen, I will give some recommendations and talk about them live and answer questions about them. So uh, if you have questions, 
things you want to talk about, bring it out to the Twitch. Um, link in the description. Snap keep. I should have snapped or kept faster so that it was actually a snap keep. Worst snap keep of all time, but that's fine. All right, for land means that we don't have to worry about Fabled Passage on turn one, so we can play one of these shock lands. Opponent's coming out with Bant. That immediately makes me think like they're playing Bant OP ramp, but let's let's give them the beauty of Night Veil Sprite, which I'm sure, I'm sure they're not ready for. The power of the Night Veil. Oh yeah, pass it back. You got nothing and you know it. You got nothing. Just a gross spiral or two. All right, let's start the enhanced surveillance, which I think is more important overall than the disinformation campaign. This lets us go three deep with our Night Veil Sprite. So we can just surveil all of them, which you should if you don't really want the creature. And since none of these are our combo pieces, we're just going to surveil all of it right here, right now. We want a nice full graveyard to do the combo. Aha, my deck is kind of immune to Elspeth Conqueror's death because all my cards suck. Hydroid Crisis. <laughs> Card is better than my whole deck combined. Don't worry about a thing, though. It's fine. This is fine. Um, all right. Attacking is shut down. We probably want to play one of these three mana cards. We may as well get this Fable Passage done. In the deck some more. Let's play the campaign. Something has to get hit by Elspeth Conqueror's death while I draw nothing but land. So Bant Ramp is considered by most in best of three to be the top tier deck in the game right now in standard. So if that's what we're playing against, then everything I said about getting matched against weaker opponents is a complete lie. And we don't have to play this. <laughs> because let's just say tier one versus tier Z or worse, is completely unnecessary. Try that again. Let's try that again. You think I won too many games getting paired against new players yesterday? So now the matchmaker is like, here you go. Top tier confirmed. Yep, let's try it out. Let's go for it. I tried this deck with Narcomoeba and Creeping Chill, but you just, when you draw those cards, it's like you just automatically lose. So I cut those. Another Tranquil Cove. All right, let's get Enhanced up in here. Blue White Control. Are you serious? Okay, that's the day we're gonna have. Let's see what you got. Do I get to do this twice? And do I get my Thoughtbound Phantasm so when I start surveilling it gets real big? <laughs> Gotta think about these counter spells. They're not gonna cast themselves. Empyrean Eagle. Okay, not what I expected. Maybe this whole deck, I'm reading it wrong. I'm a blue-white control player. When I see blue-white cards, I think my opponent is also playing blue-white cards. Very natural. All right, so we'll play this tapped and we'll whisper agent. We can do that at instant speed. We could do it now to make sure it resolves. We could also play Lazav and try to set a land and get something in the graveyard so we could turn Lazav into something next turn. But since we already have a Doom Whisperer, actually playing the Lazav makes more sense because that way, if the opponent holds up counter magic, which they still might have, we can turn Lazav into something instead of casting the Doom Whisperer. And there is the Sire. So that goes, the Thassa goes, this goes, we'll keep this on top. So that we have our fifth land to turn Lazav into Conrad Boy. And yeah, we're kind of doing it. We need to keep our life total high, so I hope we can get through next turn with resolving Doom Whisperer and not getting attacked. Cloud can see her. Cool.
Okay, that's that's gonna be that's a lot of flyers. I really need this Doom Whisperer to live. All right, come on. Moment of truth here. We could have surveilled twice and attacked with Thoughtbound Phantasm, but that's not really what I'm going for anyway. Maybe I should have anyhow. Oh, they're passing. I think we're going to do it. Are you ready? Are you ready, everyone? All of it. To the graveyard. Oh yeah, we're going to do it. We actually don't have to do it all on our opponent's end step either. We can do it on our turn. So what we'll do is we'll go my turn. Nice draw. <laughs> I was just going to turn this into the Sire Conrad, but since we top decked it, cool. And this way it will hit them on the way out and then on the way back in. Out of the library and back into the library with surveillance. Oh yeah, if you let me untap with the Doom Whisper or with the um, or with the Sir Conrad, either one of the five drop do nothings when they enter the battlefield, if I actually get to untap with them in an enhanced surveillance, you should be able to win the game. You also need a good size life total, so it is asking a lot. That's why it's not a quote unquote good combo deck, but it is pretty epic. I'm pretty sure by now I can just activate a surveillance and win, but why? We're having so much fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. So activate it, shuffle graveyard into library, counts as leaving the zone. Trigger, 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 trigger. Got him. It's so silly. <laughs> but if you need to do this, this is the best way I've found to do it. Wow. I guess we'll have to draw some other surveillance cards to pay this off, but since it's our whole deck, I feel like we can. We'll either draw land or cards that surveil, or cards that surveil to get land. So, seems like a keeper. An island. They don't usually... Island flares don't usually let me do what I want to do. That's not good. Okay, they're also on Demir. Fun. So from one Demir mage to another, can I play all my cool stuff? By the way, didn't I bottom a Doom Whisperer? Thank you. Shuffler's great. No clumping here. Nothing? Okay. Well, I guess I'm ready to get countered. They want to counter that. Whatever. Whatever. They are having a really hard time with this, though. Mind is breaking as we speak. <laughs> Tyrant Scorn, you did it. You killed her. All right, so do we want another Lazav? Not really, but we do need the lands. I'll just take both lands. Why not? Um, so next turn is Lazav and Surveillance. That's pretty good. And then the next turn, we start slamming the combo pieces. Leading with Doom Whispers, because if those die, I've got more. Got more. Sure. Right now there's only a Tyrant Scorn and nothing to hit with it, so this is a pretty ambitious mission briefing. Okay, we're done? Yeah. New players. New players. I want to educate you in the meaning of c, -c combo All right. <laughs> we'll keep the passage because it doesn't hurt us. It 
If they hold up mana like they have a counter spell, then I'll wish I had a Doom Whisperer in my graveyard. Oh, they've got a Doom Whisperer. Okay. So they're a surveil deck too. I think we're going to show them some cool surveil tricks. At least that's the plan. Right now we're set up to surveil a bit harder than they are. Alright, would you like to surveil right now, Loki? You have the ability, but it doesn't mean you have to. No, this is really good. This is really good. Our opponent, they want to become Surveil Mage. We'll, sh we'll show them, like, the heights that you can aspire to as a Surveil Gamer. And then they'll probably try to recreate it for, for the rest of their lives, really, because it basically takes 20 plus years of MTG experience to pull something like this off. I Like I said, if, if you're not catching the sarcasm I'm laying down as we go through the video, it's there. There's a lot of it. And it's probably going to try to surveil up a way to kill my Doom Whisperer. Don't see a murder yet, for example. All right, they kept. Seems good. Okay, deadly visit. It's going to destroy this. They surveil too. I'm going to take six. So I need to surveil enough so that I can play Sir Conrad and try to kill them with the enhanced surveillance. If I get enough creatures, they're at 16 and that's possible. So here we go. We're gonna go down to eight. Are you ready? <laughs> eight, that should be enough surveils to em pretty much empty the library. Not that I did math, math is hard. Oh yeah, just keep it going. Easy decisions. That was not a lot of creatures. That 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 surveil made me really nervous that all the creatures are going to be on the bottom. Not gonna lie. Starting to get scurred. Yeah, there's a handful there. One more for the road. Maybe the opponent would like to use their Doom Whisperer a few times to help me out. That's a nice juicy one. That's a very juicy one. Of course, you will go to the graveyard. And we'll find out next turn if it was enough. I'm not I'm not looking. If you want me to go through and count the creatures in my graveyard, I'm not going to do it. You're, this is how I get my watch time. You guys are just going to have to stay and see if it's enough. End of story. End of story. Ow, I'm down to two. Whatever will I do? So dangerous. All right, here's the trick. We get five extra damage by turning this into a Conrad, as opposed to casting the one from hand. Some of you didn't see it. Some of you did. Ready? Let's see if this was enough without the attack, though. Do it. How many triggers? 18? Got him. Got him. <laughs> it's so janky. It's so bad. It's so wonderful. Enhanced Surveillance, Sir Conrad the Grim. <laughs> it's just, oh my gosh, it's delightful.
So in this video, since I'm definitely taking a more casual approach, you'll see some differences between the deck list on Aetherhub, the deck list at the beginning of the video, and the deck list I'm playing in between. I am trying out a bunch of like different takes, and it turns out more creatures is really good for the deck. Um, cards like Thought Erasure are pretty slow, but more high toughness creatures to protect our life total so Doom Whisperer can do its thing. That's where I've found the best stuff so far. Yeah, we do need to just draw a lot of land with the deck. Because of the way that the surveils line up after we play Enhanced Surveillance, usually it's just about surveilling land to the top anyway, so that we can do the combo. Yep, lifelink Cat's Revenge, perhaps? Are they coming after me? Actually, I'm definitely not sharing the Lifelink Cat video from earlier because the person just timed out. Like, we were having a good game and then they were gone. So, that one is staying. That one is not getting shared. Not quality content. All right. Uh, we do have a fifth land potentially here. We also have... So, next turn we have Lazav and nothing else. So, if we have an Explained Disappearance to go with it, that's really good because that's... One of the key reasons I put this in the deck was to hold off these pride mates. And I think we'll find another land using two surveils and six cards. That should be pretty easy. That should be pretty easy. Vampire of the Dire Moon. Dawn of Hope. All the... Playing all the hits over here. You know, look at him. Look at him, he's so grim. I want, uh, who is Soromon? You guys know this name. I know this name. I just can't think of it right now for some reason. Christopher Lee. Christopher Lee should be the voice. Anyway, I definitely can't do that voice. That is an epic voice. All this stuff. We've been a Doom Whisperer. We do have to hit the land next turn. So I guess I have to bin all this. But with a Lazav, I can turn it into the Whisperer, so we're fine. So we'll kick it over to the opponent. We'll unexplained disappearance their pride mate once they've committed some resources to growing it. Hit our fifth land drop. Probably play Sir Conrad. Maybe it's better to just pass the turn and threaten to turn this into a Doom Whisper at instant speed, and then play the Sir Conrad the next turn and go off. Some life gain from the opponent, if they have enough of it, could be a problem. I'm probably blocking with the Demir Foreman on the Vampire the pri of the Dire Moon, because that gets the Demir Foreman in the graveyard, which is where it has to be to trigger the surveillance. Okay. You can wait till they attack. They might not attack. Oh, they'll definitely attack. Just get this out of my way. Just make it go away. Less cats, please. There's the lands. We keep the passage and crack it. It thins the deck just a little. So maybe it's easier to get more creatures in the graveyard when we go nuts with Doomy Boy. I'll just do this now. Save some time. But the plan is at instant speed when the moment is right to turn Lazav into a Doom Whisperer and then next turn to play Sir Conrad and get him. So hopefully they tap out here and try to set up Epic Life Gain Board. Thanks for yelling at me, dude. Harshen the vibe. Okay, so the deck, if the opponent doesn't play removal and doesn't kill you with Embercleave, it can pretty consistently turn six you. The surveil that it does, does get you through the deck pretty fast. The Lazav adds some redundancy. And it's definitely good enough to do that if the opponent, if they're not gonna do anything about it. If, they, if they're not gonna stop you, this is what's gonna happen to them.
Keep it up. Just enjoy the combo. Hit the 2x speed button if you have to. That was lame. <laughs> That's a lot of land. That's a lot of creatures. Shuffler's, Shuffler's good. <laughs> that feel random? You feel random? It's fine. This is fine. All right, down to six. Got to not kill myself. Getting kind of close. Although I'm sure I could hit the reshuffle button here and win the game. I just want to go for max. What can I say? I'm an ambitious dude. I want it all. I build my Command the Dreadhorde decks with Platinum Angel now because I'm trying to go the total distance. Triggers. 23. Yes. Yes. Fireside chat. Let's get real. Ah, big face. So you can see how serious I am. You can like really look into these eyes and know I mean what I say. This deck is not good. <laughs> You shouldn't craft it if you don't have the mythics. Uh, unfortunate, fortunately, not all the mythics are essential. Asa isn't essential. You don't need this card. You can play gain lands instead of scry lands. This deck doesn't really need them. It has surveil. So maybe I'm supposed to just be playing gain lands anyway. Would make sense. Lazav, you do want some, you want a couple of these. Hopefully you have one or two lying around you're not using. So throw those in. Doom Whisper, you need a few of these. I think you get one very early in your like free-to-play progression. I always had Doom Whispers in my free-to-play progression. So hopefully you have a couple of these lying around too. You just need to be able to either get one or Lazav into one. And if you are having trouble, if you don't have that many Doom Whispers, you can always like throw in a few and throw in some reanimation spells. You have a Connive. Concoct lying around, you can reanimate the Doom Whisper. You could also use like Blood for Bones to do it, which is an approach I tried because Blood for Bones lets you do the combo a turn earlier. But I just, it, it seemed to add another level of inconsistency to what was going on since you had to get the right pieces in the graveyard. But you could take a Blood for Bones route and try to reanimate into the combo a little sooner. But really what you need is the uncommon Sir Conrad the Grim, the uncommon Enhanced Surveillance, a bunch of cards, commons and uncommons with Surveil, and you gotta have Doom Whisperer in there somewhere, and Lazav adds a lot to it. If you're gonna do stuff with Sir Conrad, if you're really gonna push me on mill Sir Conrad type shenanigans, I do think this is the best way to do it. It's the most fun. I've actually made it happen a few times, unlike a lot of the janky stuff I get sent, and the matchmaker seems to like letting you do this combo. That's the way I'll try to phrase it. So yeah, very customizable, pretty fun. Definitely not tier, definitely jank, but hey, it's a good day to relax, especially with those new Ikoria previews rolling in. Go, go Godzilla, more for that. If you want Ikoria previews, you wanna hear me talking about new cards, you can sub to the Twitch channel and watch the VODs because I'll talk about them a lot on Twitch, Monday through Thursday, four to six. And you can also sub to the CGB Gaming channel. If I release preview shows where I talk about the spoilers, it will be on the CGB Gaming channel. The videos here on this channel will remain one new deck every day standard. That is what this channel is. It's sticking to it. But if you want more variety MTG related content, CGB Gaming. I just renewed it for another season. My editor over there and I struck a deal to do 10 videos next month. Maybe we'll even do more. We'll see. It's open-ended, so we could do more. But since we only published five videos last month, 10 is a big step up for the second channel. I hope you guys uh, continue to enjoy it. A lot of people love the editing over there. I've gotten a lot of great comments about it, so check it out. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.